All right, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy, The Bum Man with Bum Man Entertainment. Today, I got a great review for you guys. We are gonna be reviewing these Logitech G332 gaming headset uh, that I picked up. Uh, I started playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare recently on the Xbox One, and I never had a good gaming headset, but I didn't wanna spend anything over 50 bucks. So I bought two that were both under 50, Today, we're going to review the G332 Logitech. Um, standard box, got some stuff on the side that says it comes with a 50 millimeter driver uh, above the standard 40. It says, you know, 20 to 20K hertz, 39 ohms passive, 5K ohms active, 107 decibels, microphone, uh, muting boom, six millimeter mic, 100 to 20 kilohertz frequency response. So in the box, you get your basic um, safety about listening to too loud in your ears and all that. And then you get a setup guide. You can go to the Logitech uh, website and you can actually adjust the uh, equalizer and all that on there. I haven't done that yet because I'm not using that on my PC. You have to hook up to your PC to do that. And then you get a little Logitech card and sticker. So that's all paperwork. You also get a Y splitter to hook it into the PC, the microphone and audio, or audio and headphone, and it's got the little audio and headphone on there. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to see it. Uh, you plug your 3.5 millimeter into there and into your computer you go. The headphones themselves come with a pretty long 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. I guess that it was 1.7 meters or something. Uh, it's very long. It's actually too long uh, to be holding a controller and playing. But the headset themselves, and they look very nice actually. I was actually impressed. These were $39.99 at Best Buy. And that's currently what they're going for. Um, they can rotate 90 degrees backwards and a tad forward to give it some good mobility. The earpiece themselves can tilt back and forth to get maximum comfort any way you want it. And it's nice that they rotate back. So when you take your headset off and it's around your neck, it can sit and rest down easy. And it looks pretty dang nice. So they are mostly plastic, but it's a flat matte plastic. It's a very nice looking matte. It's got the geotech symbol on the side, both earpieces, the boom that goes up and down. When you tilt it up, it kind of doesn't really click. It kind of, there's a little clicking point right here, and that's supposed to mute it. Non-removable headphone jack, non-removable. On the back of the left ear is the volume up-down basic wheel. Um, they are adjustable as well, like most are with metal around the inside plastic, a little extra support, so that's nice. They fear, feel durable. They do, they're, they're kind of tight though. I don't want to stretch them too much. If you have a smaller head, that might not work, but they're pretty they're pretty flexible if you, if you bend them and twist them, but to stretch them, they feel pretty tight. Um, padding though, very nice, that plush leatherette on the top and on the sides. Overall, pretty decent, decent pair. Go ahead and put them on for you guys. You can adjust the boom. You can bend it in, you can bend it out. Flip it up to mute it. Flip it down. So they fit nice. I actually like the way they fit and the way they look. The only thing I would say is we're in it for a long period of time since they were hard to pull apart is on the bottom under my earlobe, kind of right on my neck right here. It, they're kind of pushing and clamping in a little bit, not too much. And maybe they'll stretch out and not have so much pressure. So they actually feel good. I, I really like them. But just a little bit of pressure in there. Uh, I did already use them for Call of Duty. So we can, uh, 
So right now I have them plugged in to my phone jack. So I should be getting the audio through the headset so we can see how clear it is, how it sounds. Um, if it's muffled at all, if there's any noise or anything, we should be able to hear it all through the mic right now. I'll go ahead and play the feedback and see what it sounds like. Uh, I have already tried out the sound for uh, Call, the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and I have to say it's pretty good. I'd probably give it about a 7 out of 10. Um, it's Overall, the headset gets pretty loud. The volume mixer on here gets pretty loud, but all of the noise is pretty loud. Compared to some of the other headsets that I've tried and the other one that I'm going to review later on and compare, the bass is very uh, amplified. With these, it's kind of like the mids. Uh, the mids take take control with good amount of highs, good amount of lows, bouncing back and forth, but it's a lot of the mids. It's very crisp, very clear, and uh, concise. Overall, great headset. You can hear the footsteps, you can hear the gunshots, you can hear the grenades. Like I said, overall, all of it's pretty loud, so I turn it down a little bit. Um, but I'd have to say I'd, I'd give it probably about a 7 or 8 out of, out of 10, especially for under $50. If you're looking for a budget headset, under $50, like I said, these were $39.99. They're the Logitech G332. Uh, great headset. They fit well. They sound great. I've been told the audio sounds great. So yeah, overall, great headset. If you guys have any uh, comments or questions, please go ahead and like the video. If you're watching this video and you made it this far, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It's going to help me help you guys produce a lot better content. Go ahead and do that. And you can follow me on Instagram at manbun525. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and until next time, buns out.